Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this makeup look that you are seeing right here. And everything that you are seeing on the eyes, the brows, the lips is all CoverGirl. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First, we are just going to start out with my bare naked face, as you can see. And does anyone else do a little celebratory dance before we do makeup? Or is that just me? It could be just me. I don't really know. So first we are going to put our hair back and I'm going to be priming my face with the Benefit Professional Primer Sample that I got from Sephora because let's be real, that's the only thing I can afford from Sephora is the samples. And then for foundation today, I'm actually going to be using a new one that I've been trying and I absolutely love it. This is the new NARS Radiant or yeah, with the Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I'm in the shade Duville, I think that's how you say it. And I absolutely love this foundation. It literally feels like water when you're putting it on your face, and it blends out so effortlessly. I only needed to go over my face once. I didn't have to build up the product. It just gave a beautiful, beautiful coverage, and I don't know, I've just been really, really liking this. And this was, the day that I filmed this video was the first day that I tried it, and I've just, I've been obsessed. So that is what I am using all over my face. Next for concealer, we are going to be using the first CoverGirl product that I got from my PR package, and that is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. And I'm using the two lightest shades, as you can see right here. And these concealers are actually a twist up, so you basically just twist up the, pro the amount of product that you need, and you just put it underneath your eyes and on your chin, down your nose, your forehead, wherever you typically want to lighten and brighten in or just add more coverage to a certain area that's basically what you can do and by the way this video is not sponsored I am just simply using these products for like a first impressions wise for you guys so you can know what I like what I didn't like things like that after that we are going to be setting it with some powder this is the covergirl vitalist healthy um, pressed powder and I'm using the I believe the lightest shade in this one as well so this is I believe classic ivory and with a kabuki brush I am basically just kind of setting everything into my face and I forgot to show my bronzer but I am now putting on bronzer I just use the NARS Laguna and then for blush I'm going to be applying my little sample size that I got from Sephora as well from Tarte And then moving on to my eyebrows. Now I'm going to be using one of the new products from CoverGirl as well. And this is actually one of their new dip brow type products. I have never tried dip brow before. And I've been trying this one for the last few times I've done my makeup and I love it. So it comes with a little brush on the top that you take out and then the product is on the bottom. And it's absolutely perfect. There's not too much. You don't get too little. It's the perfect in between because if you had too much, it would dry out. And if you didn't have enough, then well, you wouldn't have enough so I just feel like this is the perfect amount it really helps me get my brows nice and sharp nice and precise it gives me the color payoff that I want so I've just been I've been loving this And then I'm going to be setting my face before we start with the eyes and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Look Lock Up Setting Spray. And I really like this stuff. It kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D setting spray. And I'm just using this to kind of get rid of any powderiness that we had from all of the face makeup. And now we can start on the eyeballs. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up Eye Primer. One thing that I will say about this is it works very, very fast when it comes to getting your eyes tacky. So take my advice and do one eye at a time so put the primer on blend it out and then do the other eye don't let the other eye just sit there because it dries very quickly and becomes tacky very quickly next moving on to the eyes I'm going to be using this Katie cat palette from CoverGirl as well and I believe this is the warm palette and we're gonna be sticking with a lot of the neutral brown bronze shades and the first shade that I am taking is the lightest shimmery brown color and I am putting that all over my lid just using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I am putting a decent amount of this on both of my eyes and then we are going to be taking just a clean blending brush with absolutely nothing on it and blending that out so it's nice and, you know, blended. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then moving on to the crease color, I'm just going to be taking a blending brush. I do have a coupon code for these brown handled brushes. They are vegan. So if you are interested in that, I do always have a coupon code down in the description box for that. So the next color that you just saw me take is kind of like the the more bronze shade out of the palette, very matte, and I'm just sweeping this into the crease to kind of blend out that shimmery color that we had and to kind of warm up the crease for the other colors. And I'm also taking the same color and putting it underneath on my lower lash line. Then the next color I'm taking is the darkest shade on that side of the palette and I'm just an angled eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I am simply just sweeping this into the outer parts of my eye. I kind of like to start where I would put liquid eyeliner and kind of sweep up into the crease and blend it out that way. I don't know if that does anything, but that's just the way that I've always done it. So yeah, I don't know. And then after I get the opacity that I want, I basically go back in with my blending brush and kind of blend everything out so it's nice and uniform throughout the eye. And then of course to highlight the eye, I'm going to be taking the lightest shade in the palette and on just a Urban Decay 24-7 eyeshadow brush, I'm sweeping this up into my brow bones, into my inner corners, but really focusing it on that brow bone because I really wanted the shimmery looks to kind of come through in this. So I really loaded that on. And after you do that, we are all done with the eyeshadow palette and we can move on to liquid eyeliner. And for that, I'm using one of the new ones by CoverGirl. And this one is just a pure 100% beautiful brown liquid eyeliner. You guys know I usually always just wear black, but I really thought the brown would be kind of like complimenting to this look because we have a lot of like warm bronzy shades. So I figured black would be a little too harsh. So I went with brown and it turned out absolutely beautiful. The brush is really thin, really precise. So you're able to get a nice sharp wing. Next, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara in the black is black shade. And I'm loading this on my top and bottom lashes. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to be using one of the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Gray Matter. I thought it would look kind of cool with this look because we are also going to be using a gloss over top of it. This is the Katie Cat Gloss in, I believe this one is called Catalope, if I remember correctly. So first, I'm just putting Gray Matter all over my lips, and you guys, I really do like the formula of these CoverGirl Liquid Lipsticks. I think they're great. I wore, I've been wearing a few of them to work, actually, so I I really do like them and after I put the liquid lipstick on I'm going to be putting the gloss over top of it just so it kind of ties in with the eyes because we have a lot of shimmery tones going on so I figured a shimmery gloss would go really good with it. And here is what the look looks like pretty much almost finished up but we are missing something and what could that something be? Ah highlight! So I'm going in with one of the CoverGirl Healthy Glow little Kind of, they kind of remind me of like the eyeshadow, like the potted eyeshadows, but these are actually highlighters. You can use them on your body, on your collarbones, on your face. I'm actually using it on my face. Yes, I am doing it over top of my powder, but I'm just very lightly dotting and then going over with my beauty blender to kind of blend out the color and it really gave a nice natural glow. So that is what I did. And then the very last step is of course to go back in with the Look Lock Up Setting Spray and the look is finally complete. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have absolutely been loving all of the new CoverGirl products that I got. It really made me fall back in love with CoverGirl and you guys know I am such a fan of drugstore makeup. So if you guys enjoyed, please give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.